morning and welcome back to the vlog so i thought i'd do a quick get ready with me this morning I have some exciting events to go to i'm going to blenheim palace and also i am traveling down to midhurst which is about three hours away um to a lovely event that is hosted by hortons so i thought let's do my makeup this morning firstly i am definitely in need of some under eye treatment because my eye bags i don't know what's going on i thought i had a good sleep last night but obviously not using the charlotte tilbury recovery eye serum then firstly i'm gonna do my brows it's the only one that really holds my brows put it on basically before anything else it has a lot of grip to hold on to and before any moisturizer or anything so it definitely stays all day wipe off the excess around before you start doing your makeup my current favorite moisturizer for under makeup is waterbank hyaluronic gel moisturizer so it's actually a gel mm, i can't open it <laughs> It is literally a gel that has tiny particles in that burst um, and it just feels so refreshing. One has niacinamide in or something like that that helps with oil control so helps kind of target your skin underneath your makeup to help with the oil throughout the day and especially when it gets hotter in summer, I think this will really help, especially wearing minimal makeup. What I've been doing recently is doing masseter massaging. So I've been massaging this kind of jaw area and it has helped so well just from like relaxing my jaw muscles the tension around this area if you're someone like me who has um uh retainers at night i tend to find that i actually end up clenching my jaw more that i've got retainers in so yeah this just really helps depuff my face and it just feels nice it feels like it's doing something especially around this area where i hold a lot of tension I just kind of googled it <laughs> <laughs> um and then i went down a tiktok rabbit hole on how to do like masseter jaw massage but obviously i'm not doing it very well this morning because i'm rushing i use the beauty pie spf primer and i love this one this one is my second bottle and it just find it so moisturizing according to makeup artists and Hayley Weaver, you're meant to use two finger widths of SPF on your face and neck every day. I am drinking dandelion tea and if you don't, I'm not too keen on the taste of green tea but I love jasmine tea, I love anything floral and this is kind of a mixture of the both. I'd say this was quite caramelly um, and floral so highly recommend and I've been having it on the recommendation that it basically helps clear out like detox your liver and it basically makes you wee more <laughs> so it kind of flushes out all the toxins which is really good if you're after kind of having a bit of a detox and I like to have it in the morning so it kind of sets me up for the day yeah it's got lots of um antioxidants in and yeah it gives me like a little boost of energy so yeah highly recommend this one is clipper i think i just bought it from tesco's so yeah highly recommend because i do actually enjoy the taste and i think it would be quite nice as an iced tea as well so i'm gonna try that in summer because i think it would be nice maybe with like a dash of honey in as well but yeah highly recommend i've been loving the hourglass skin tint it is literally so good and i use shade seven because i got color match when i was at the event 
and it's really really good it's almost like half coverage like you can build it up um so yeah i'm just gonna show you half my face and see how different because it does even out my skin tone and it's still very much a natural look dewy glowy look when it sinks starts to sink into your skin and warm up you can really just tell that the product's working rather than just sitting on your skin and drying it out you can really tell that it's just working right into your skin i use the hourglass concealer which is in the shade silk and i got this one from space nk the other day um and it's lighter than like a normal concealer because it's good for under eyes so this is where i put all my highlighted concealer i have bigger cheekbones and a smaller chin so i want it to kind of match up so i like to kind of bring it all down here and make sure my chin is all highlighted so it kind of pops out different so this is more of just my normal skin tone i just use this if i have like any blemishes then this is really good and you only need the tiniest bit bit onto my eyes as a base just kind of brings your eyes out a bit more i always find that if i forget to put on any um like base for my eyes it kind of just melts away throughout the day and then this is my crazy crazy contour look so i've just used the charlotte tilbury um contour wand in i think it's the medium one not the darkest one um and it just creates almost the best kind of under contour bronze look so i put it on where my cheekbones are literally directly on my cheekbones and then down so it creates more of like a a drawn in look and then on my nose and also my forehead's quite big so i've put majority on my forehead just kind of bring the eye inwards so it looks less round <laughs> um yeah and then obviously on my jawline as well um so yeah i'm gonna blend that out with my fluffy brush and then we will see where we are is a brush that i bought from mns and it's really really good for contouring i think it's meant to be a concealer and foundation in one but i just use it for contouring already you can see how much like it's totally changed my face nude sticks um it's like a matte contour stick but it's in the shade sunkissed and i'd like to use this when it's a little bit warmer outside and i like a bit more of like a ready undertone to my bronze so i'm just gonna apply it literally more as a blush but quite sparingly and also on my eyes like that it really does give you that sun-kissed look. I always catch the sun on my nose. So, I'm just basically mimicking that. Literally just using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. And use this sparingly because it is quite bright. Um, I have been using the, is it Huda Beauty Cupcake one? Um, but it is, oh no, that's a lot shake that back in so i'm just gonna oh my god i've just put that everywhere yeah i feel like that's really kind of helped already the charlotte tilbury eyeliner and it's like the chubby one and you can really build this up so if you are going for evening you can just put it all over i just like to make it more of like 
a very subtle eyeliner to bring it up like this. So you're basically doing like a cheats way of contouring your eyes. Just leave it like this, it would just look awful. My Hourglass Bronzer for the rest of my eyes. Then we use the Hourglass Shimmer Pot in Reflect. Yeah, that is the name of the actual colour. And it's a really lovely bronzy gold. Make sure I've got all the powder blended in. This bronzer I also can't live without. It just transforms like my face from going all powdery to shimmery and glowy. But yeah, obviously I need to do my lips because it looks like I've got an awful lot on my lips. Use the tiniest last bit of the setting spray. Being very um, like powdered too glowy and this stuff is incredible my eyelashes have grown so much just from using the revita lash serum so we are using the Too faced super Fra super fine brow detailer and it is actually really good I do my brows the hourglass is it called instant extensions or something this mascara is so good honestly let me zoom in so you can see properly but look at those lashes this mascara and the revita lash it's just incredible so yeah very pleased with that i'm gonna use my very old mac lip liner in subculture and i just like this because it's a nice base if you want to have a bit of colour, a bit of definition, um, but almost like it to be your own lips. And of course my favourite balm from Hourglass, these are their Phantom Balms and this one needs a good clean because I obviously didn't um, put it in the lid properly and it's kind of messed up. Very much like Pillow Talk, it's just so glossy and balmy and got a plumping effect which is always nice the shade scents which is i believe the most popular one but i'm not too sure because i have quite a few and this one is like my go-to everyday color two red okay two orange i don't think that'll show up maybe that one that so i'm just gonna dab it on to my brush just need to sort my hair out quickly but they sent me this gigantic bottle to try and it's their dry volume and texture spray so i'm going to just add that to my roots and hopefully it will help with adding a bit more volume that's like really lifted these bits especially feels like i feel like it's almost like the equivalent of Putting hairspray in and dry shampoo at the same time. But yeah, that's really like helped lift my roots. Highly recommend. I am going to try and film bits here and there at Blenheim, but we're basically going to a private tour of icons of British fashion exhibition. And I don't know who else is going to be there, so we'll see. But yeah, it's a private tour and then we get to go on the night in bar bus that they have at the moment for wine tasting and night in bar is English sparkling wine and I'm so excited for that because you know me, I love a glass of wine. Then afterwards, the day after, I'm going straight to Midhurst, which is near Chichester, I believe. So yeah, we're driving down me and emma and we are staying for one night with the hortons girls that have been invited so looking forward to that um so i'll show you bits of that as well i better get going i need to get dressed i'm wearing a me and em dress 
with my mango blazer jacket thing and I don't know what shoes to wear because it's looking a bit rainy but I'm gonna try and wear my ballet flat so yeah I'll show you bits and bobs as we go hopefully I'll get some content but we will see but I'll catch up with you all later um produce shoes <laughs> um, all of our designers chose their own room and all of the designs in these rooms were made by them How amazing. Three and a half pounds of solid brass. Okay, wow. wow. Yeah. Don't want to lose and that. Been there and we still open and close the palace with this every day. We have arrived at a little park. Yes. Park Ho House Hotel. Hotel in Mid That's it. In West Sussex, we are. Took a little while to get here. Yes, but we've been greeted with cocktails, mojito, and a pink lady. Have you tried it? No, not yet. Oh, great that's fruit. Nice. Perfect. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> so we have been very lucky and we've actually got the upstairs whole floor Sweet. um so let me show you quickly what it looks like because i don't even know <laughs> what is even that I'm that's sure. just crazy i think it's just um I don't know, mental okay lots of artwork as well yeah. i love this one so this is your yeah one. that's mine okay yeah. so this is our room and we've got a huge bed and a little walkway so this is like a walk-in wardrobe area then amazing <laughs> look all the way down there <laughs> yeah so it's so basic. cool the whole top floor yeah top it's very cozy though yeah and then amazing bathroom how nice such a big shower and then just in case we haven't got any more room we've actually got a living room and a fireplace and our cute little kitchen but yeah it's amazing such a nice area. But yes, yeah, so we are going to get ready in our dresses and then we will be doing some flower arranging. And I will show you my dress in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The tomatoes again, and you're chopped oh. straight into half, so they're sort of down into the bottom here, and then you end up with two kind of nice sized pieces. And I love this because it's kind of going to do that little. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Nice, kind of floaty. A mm. little bit of movement, a little bit of a bit more texture again. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> You've 
Oh, this looks really nice. Yeah. Can I have one? <laughs> yes. Looks amazing. Just doing our makeup. Yeah. Cups ready for dinner. I'm using these. My name. Tatcha blotting papers. Beauty papers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Sophia Richie uses these, so I use these. Yeah, we're getting ready. Um, Emma's just had a bath. A really long, hot bath, and I feel a bit, mm. a bit um, <sighs> spaced out now. Yeah. But we've got wine tasting. Yes, we yeah. have. Part two. Last night, it was new. Um, yeah, and then dinner after that and can you remember what we ordered, mm. ordered? i feel like we went for like truffle was pasta. it a truffle mm. i hope so that's lovely oh can mm. i have some of that mm. let's use some of this mm. Mm. right we can't be late do. 